The next point I would like to address is the who made God objection. A typical response is this. If everything needs a cause, then who caused God or who created God? If we did have to explain who or what the cause of God is, that would still not remove the need to explain the cause of our universe. This seems to be a deflection from having to actually deal with uh, the cause of our universe issue. It would be like finding an axe head in uh, the middle of the desert and saying, I won't believe that there is an intelligent cause behind that axe head until you can explain to me the cause behind the intelligence. Having to find or explain a cause for God isn't actually necessary. What this objection ultimately does is fail to understand the law of causality. The law of causality states that everything that has a beginning or comes into existence needs a cause. The cause of our universe we are arguing for in this case did not have a beginning and therefore does not need a cause. This is not a workaround or a cop-out answer, but think about it for a second. If at any point in history absolutely nothing existed, then nothing would exist today. Something cannot come from nothing. There has to be at least one thing that is eternal. Either the universe is eternal, which we have very good reason to believe this is not the case, or the cause of our universe is, in this case, God. 